nice when it happens, isn't it? And it puts me in mind of uh, puts me in mind of sitting by the wood stove, maybe in a rocking chair, and maybe some snow falling, and you know, life slowing down. Thank goodness we have winter time coming. What a blessing. Kind of just reflect a little bit, maybe, and take things nice and easy. And sometimes our gang reads uh, one of our favorite authors who was uh, writing stories of Maine back in 1900 and 1901, and his name was Holman Day. And he liked to impart bits of wisdom into his writing, uh, maybe old farmer's wisdom, whatever you'd like to call it. You know, such things like, uh, like uh, good judgment comes from experience, and most of that comes from bad judgment. <laughs> you know, stuff with meat to it, stuff you can really relate to. And uh, he come up with this one that we kind of like that talks a little bit about, about, well, it talks about hindsight and foresight, and it talks a little bit about uh, charging right through a job with your mind maybe on the finished product rather than enjoying what's right in front of you at the moment and hurrying along. And uh, gosh, we love the way he for example, the first verse of this, this piece is um, it's called hesitation. It's called hindsight is clearer than foresight, but foresight's better and safer, old chap, he writes. And then he kind of goes Shakespearean on us, which Holman Day did once in a while. And this next couple lines really intrigued me for a while, and they are, experience teaches, but common sense reaches and test the bright baubles in Dame Future's lap. And I pondered over that. Say it again, would you please, that one? Experience teaches, but common sense reaches and tests the bright baubles in Dame Future's lap. And I got thinking that one over and I went, ah, this is one I can relate to. Temptation. The bright baubles sparkling in Dame Future's lap. Anyway, I just wanted to Well, there's just a minute before Molly's next dance. Perhaps, if you don't mind, I could just give you the recitation. Okay. We'll start at the beginning. Hindsight is clearer than foresight, but foresight's better and safer, old chap. Experience teaches, but common sense reaches and tests the bright baubles in Dane Future's lap. Now, I'm telling you what F. Landers did the time that critter lost his fit. Now, he was sort of a quick and impulsive man. When others walked, he ran. Didn't take time to come on you, simply got right up and slam banged through. He reckoned the moments a fella took to give the future a good square look. It was so much wasted time. His plan was never look up, just climb. Well, he was yanking boulders a few ago. And things got balky and moving slow. He slung the chain around a good big rock and found he'd lost the little block that holds the chain. It's used instead on the hook and link and is called a fib. And F, he stood there holding the chain by the ends and he got profane. Damn! <laughs> Couldn't find it and wouldn't wait got mad as a bug and desperate. <laughs> then that cracked brain critter, now what do you think? He stuck his thumb in the unhooked link. <laughs> Didn't consider that weren't his fit, but the oxen started and then he did. <laughs> you stick your thumb where it don't belong and all the world's gonna yank it, good and strong. The <laughs> oxen. <laughs> Hindsight is clearer than foresight, but you might want to ask foresight to give you a point. Or next thing you'll be knowing, oh, the world will get going, and she'll laugh while you howl with your thumb out of joint.